Hello and welcome to today's topic, Cetrizin. Cetrizin is a second generation antihistamine, a metabolite of the hydroxyzin, a histamine H1 receptor antagonist. Actions of Cetrizin Anti-allergic action Cetrizin inhibits the H1 receptor action, thus reduces the immediate hypersensitivity reactions. Antagonism of histamine Cetrizin also inhibits the release of histamine and other mediators which may be additional benefit in treatment of allergies. It has marked affinity for peripheral H1 receptors, penetrates the brain poorly, producing mild sedation and subjective solemnance is experienced. It is devoid of the arthmogenic potential. Mechanism of action of cetrizin. Competitive inhibition of histamine at the H1 receptors on the smooth muscle. Pharmacokinetics, the ADME. It is generally given oral, well absorbed, does not cross the blood-brain barrier. It is metabolized in the liver and excreted in the urine. Uses of cetrizin. Used in hypersensitivity reactions like the hair fever, atricaria, some drug allergies, insect bites, pruritus, polynosis, atopic dermatitis. It is used as an adjuvant in seasonal asthma. Adverse effects of cetrizin. Effects due to the action on peripheral muscarinic receptors include dry mouth, sometimes blurred vision, constipation and urine retention is found. Sedative effect of cetrizin. Cetrizin does not cross the CNS. Therefore, little or no sedation is found. Though considered non-sedative, cetrizin can cause some sedation in many when compared to the other second generation agents. Here, we can clearly see cetrizin acting as a H1 antagonist in the hypersensitivity reaction. Levocetrizin is the active enantiomer of cetrizin. It is effective at a half dose and appears to produce less sedation and side effects compared to the standard cetrizin. To conclude, it costs money to stay healthy but it's expensive to get sick. So eat whole, drink water, stay active and be healthy. Thank you.